In this session, we're going to be making an earth layer picture. Um, you're going to be using the elements of line and texture to create a dynamic drawing of a cross section of the earth. So a cross section is when you cut something in half. You know, if you were to take an apple here and you cut it in half like that and open it up, you've got, you know, your apple looking like this and you've got the seeds on the inside and here's the stem on the side and you can see the seeds on the inside and you can see the inside maybe even see the little thing down on the bottom so you can see the inside of it because you cut it in half vertically so imagine then if you take the earth and you were able to cut it in half what would you see if you see on the top trees and a building what goes underneath so here's two drawings um, and whoever's teaching this can show you the PowerPoint too which is going to be a nicer bigger image um, but you can see um, some of these drawings we've got little bunny holes over here and little um, other kind of animals living underneath whereas we see the flowers up on top and the Sun up here here you can see the oh the great texture of this like pebble or rock layer with a big tube going down to the aquifer where there's water and they have a well that goes all the way up and underneath here there's some like ancient pottery and here there's some skeletons of long ago dead little animals and down here there's like a buried mummy person and down here there's an evil wizard living underneath the earth with stalactites and stalagmites in this cave so there's all this sort of cool imaginative stuff that you could do here's two more you can see this one has like roman columns and a big you know uh, temple underneath and there's another like cave layer and here there's bricks that have been built up with like caveman paintings and way up here there's a tree and some little flowers and a little house with some car with a car there down here we've got mummies and all sorts of crazy stuff going on um, great line great texture you can see how each of these artists put in different marks for texture to delineate one two three four five six seven layers so today in your drawing you're gonna have seven layers you're gonna start with a pencil and you're going to write your name my name's mr. Lundgren I'm going to write that and then I'm going to write my grade number one two three four five whatever you are and your homeroom teacher okay depending on who your homeroom teacher is and um, for whoever is teaching this this is a six by nine piece of paper okay six by nine piece of paper and flip it over and you're going to first things first lightly with your pencil kind of delineate seven different spaces one two three four five six lines to have one two three four five six seven spaces so there we go I have my seven spaces that I've got now with that drawing if you want to you can start with your pencil and you know start at the top start at the bottom whichever way you want to and you're gonna start drawing I'm gonna put my first layer and this is we're gonna do everything pencil first and then we'll use a sharpie to go back over it so I'm gonna put um, you know a very simple um, little house on the top here I'm gonna put a little cabin okay and, and this is not like an architecture assignment or anything so I'm just gonna make a nice simple house here and put a window a regular little first grade house okay I'm gonna put some siding and the trim around the window little chimney and then next to that I'm gonna put a lake kinda of goes down into my first layer and here I'm gonna put like a little dock on top of the lake and um, maybe a tree how about a tree goes down 
into the ground. Maybe a little tire swing on the tree. Okay, and the main things I want you to focus in on this assignment are the use of line and the use of texture. So we've got our lake. Let's put some line for the water. And this is a cross section, right? And put a little boat up here, a little canoe. Okay, and um, you know, maybe I'll put some little grass in here so we know that it's the top layer with some grass on top, maybe even a little cloud. Okay, now on the underneath layer here, we're going to have pebbles because it's a really rocky, sandy, pebbly beach area. And we don't necessarily want this to be a pattern. We want it to be a little nature-y because it's, it's organic. It's the layer of the earth down here. And depending on the time, the person who is teaching this, Mr. Lundgren or whoever else, you can fast forward some of this texture and maybe each time I start a new layer, listen to what I talk about with that layer and then fast forward kind of through the mark making and texturing of that. So there's my first little layer. Now underneath I kind of like dinosaurs so maybe on the second level I'll put some you know what maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna save the dinosaurs for a little further down. I'm gonna put a layer of rocks like bricks from an old ancient society. Here we go gonna make some brick layer so here's my brick layer because there used to be an old stone wall here and maybe I'll even put in a little doorway maybe there's a door right here okay that the uh, the ancient society used to go into a hidden temple on the inside. So I'm going to leave a doorway right there. I'm going to make an arch over the doorway. Good. And uh, continue my bricks. Okay, the next one, underneath my ancient bricks, I'm going to have um, a cave, another ancient cave, and the cave is going to have stalactites coming down, and notice how I'm overlapping them to make the texture look like there's many of them, maybe one that's really long, and another one that goes up that way, and some stalagmites coming up from the bottom. Okay, so I've got my stalactites. My stalactites are the ones that come down from the ceiling because they hang on tight to the ceiling where the stalagmites have to kind of come up from the bottom. They're mighty, they have to push up from the bottom, right? So here we go, put some texture in here. Line, texture. Okay, and underneath that, I'm going to put my dinosaur bones. All right, here's my dinosaur bones. Some teeth. Okay. And some other little, you know, dinosaur dude over here. Maybe a triceratops dinosaur dude. Some other little bones. And uh, so there's my dinosaur 
layer and maybe I'll just put some little dots in there to kind of signify with some texture that there's dirt around my dinosaur bones and then maybe underneath we'll have um, hmm maybe uh, how about like a secret uh, railway tunnel that you know a new society has built this is where like the the subway car might go and it's actually a it's a mining facility so we'll put a little mining trolley on here with little wheels maybe there's some little chunks of coal sitting inside of it and it's a uh, arched tunnel maybe another little yeah we'll leave just one coal truck and then underneath here maybe this is where it starts to get to uh, um, a solid bedrock layer okay so there's my quick um, seven layer earth drawing we've got the top side we've got the the first layer of like stones and pebbles a little um, arch way for the secret society from a long long ago and we've got a little slag tight area we've got dinosaur bones a hidden tunnel railway and the kind of bottom layer so there we go texture and line